night, charity fundraising Tenerife style. Hey, 80s pop icon Lamal is in town. Woo. The famous Lamal wig. That's the old, that's the old star. Tragic. And we meet ladies man Alan. There's like a rumour down Veronica that I slept with over a thousand girls. But it's not the fact I'm going around boasting about that because I'm not, but it's the truth. Tenerife is one of the most popular holiday spots for Brits, especially with the young, free and single. For nine Swansea lads on their first holiday without parents, it's right. the morning after yet yeah. another right. night before. How are you feeling? Is that a smell of yours? No, I don't feel good. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what have you been doing in the toilet, Russ? I'm in a fucking shit. We drank about 40 bottles of vodka between us all. Well. <laughs> done, done definitely 40 litres of vodka. Um, pints of beer is something ridiculous. We've had no water here, so we've been drinking cans of beer as if it was water. We've gone through some we have gallons and gallons. Good morning. Good morning. Did you get your end away? I did not. You useless bastard. Oh, <laughs> I'm farming. Russell and Tom. Russell himself has been, what did he say? 70 odd times? Been like 70 odd times. And he came back last Quite week. Impressive. Sick everywhere again. Steve and Di keep the other lads on the straight and narrow. I'm fucked. I'm game of soup, yeah. Russell's probably our least responsible person yeah. on holiday. He drank he, a bottle of vodka the other night. No reason at all, like. No, he's a, a, a litre of vodka in 20 minutes, mm. half an hour, most of which wasn't with coke, because we couldn't find any, it was, was actually with sangria, <laughs> which he, he insists looks yeah. and tastes like coke when you've had half a bottle of vodka. It's their last day in Tenerife, and the lads are broke, so they're off to a prepaid booze cruise with Club 1830. Meanwhile, 1830's manager, Mark Jones, is on his way to pick up a VIP guest. Just after the airport now, I've had a phone call and Lamal's delayed flight has now actually landed without us knowing about it. He's actually phoned me from the plane itself and just got ticked off by an air stewardess for using his mobile. But um, it's going to take us about 10 minutes to, to get there, so hopefully we timed uh, pretty much to perfection. Lamal, former singer of pop band Kajagoogoo, is headlining 80s night. Seems to be a massive revival at the moment, um, and especially for someone like our, ourselves. Uh, I mean, our clientele not only actually grew up in the 80s, but some of the young ones were born in the 80s, so the first songs they heard uh, were stuff like the sort of uh, Spandau Ballet and uh, Duran Duran and our has. Now all Mark has to do is find Lamar. While Mark searches for his celebrity guest, the former teen heartthrob is patiently signing autographs outside. Them all. Woo. Mark finally makes use of the wonders of modern communication. Lamal, where are you? Whereabouts are you? Ah, oh, right, outside. I'm on my way outside. I'm inside looking for you now. We're two gorgeous blondes. I shall find you straight away then. Leave me with them. Hi. Oh, How nice you doing, Mark? That's me, Sue. Despite a terrible journey, Lamal is clearly delighted to be here for the show. Yeah, it's a cool job. I love my life. I love my life. Especially now as it's the 80s revival, OK? All clubs out there start an 80s night. And he's off to his hotel to relax in the sun and prepare for the show in two days' time. See you later. The Swansea lads have made it onto the boat. They've barely left the harbour and Tyler is not feeling too well. The lads have only been up for two hours, but they're still first in the queue for the free beer. Whales have been spotted. 
But Russell has his mind on more important things. No, he's, he's on his skin to He's on his Russell gets into the party spirit and joins in with the games. His sickness forgotten, Tyler can't resist the free beer any longer. It's the first beer for Tyler, but number 13 for Russell. Let's get them in. OK, then, club, as you can see, we've now arrived at Spaghetti Bay, all right? We're going to be taking over well, here for about half hell, an hour or so to give you a chance to go for a swim and have oh, a few it. games, OK? Dies first up for the belly flop competition, judged on style and splashability. Yeah, go on, our son. But Russell has been concentrating on propping up the bar. <laughs> and propping up himself. Back at the port, Russell gets a second wind, just in time to show off his party trick. Jenny Hodge and her two youngest children moved from Essex to Tenerife two months ago after she'd suffered from a brain tumour. She's now decided that life begins at 42. I got pregnant when I was 17. I had my first child when I was 18. I've been bringing up children for 23 years and I haven't really done the disco bit. When I first found my kids, the first week that I came out here in April, I said, I've been in a bar and I've been on karaoke. They just couldn't believe it because it's totally not me, do you know what I mean? And now they just, Mum, if you're going to do anything, don't embarrass us. <laughs> her mate Dee is over for a two-week holiday with her son Stuart. I haven't seen her for about six months, so she's coming over for two weeks for a holiday and girly nights. So we're going to have um, two weeks for drinking, sun and being mad. Dee's here to support Jenny's quest to climb Mount Tady, a 3,718-metre-high volcano. She's doing it to raise money for charity. I don't want to just walk it. I want to raise money for some sort of charity. I want to achieve something. I want to put something back into Tenerife or into where, I, where my life started again. Jenny, Dee and her mate Kim are out to collect money for the climb. They start their evening with a couple of drinks in their favourite pub. You're right. You got the list? I was totally teetotal for 20 years, never drank until I came to Tenerife. <laughs> and now, I, if I go on, out on a night out, I drink like a fish. The girls decide to try a direct approach as they head off to raise the cash. I'm walking up Mount TD on Monday. Are you going to come down and put some money in our box? Come on, lad, get your small change out. Yeah. You tight gits! Yeah. You wait till your mother sees this! It's not going as well as they hoped. Dee is a bouncer back home and resorts to frisking strangers in the street. Nineteen-year-old Michelle came out to Tenerife on a two-week holiday after she'd been dumped by her boyfriend. Things were looking up. She got a job as an 1830s rep and a new boyfriend, Dan. Because he's such a nice bloke. He's the sort of bloke that I would go out with back at home. And um, we get on so well. I think she's great. She's really outgoing. She's a really good laugh. Uh, she's just she's me. We're going really well, I think. I think we'll see a lot of each other when we get back home as well. So, yeah, she's going really well at the moment. But a week later, it's not going well for Michelle and Dan. 
Last night, a rep's brother, who couldn't get home, stayed at Michelle's apartment. Dan turned up unexpectedly and wasn't happy. And you could see in his eyes that he didn't believe me, looking at me like I was some kind of slag or something, you know. And I didn't expect that from him at all. And it really, it's upset me. And I said to him, what? And he said, just can't, you know. I said, Dan, I haven't done anything. And I literally, I hadn't done anything. If I'd done something, then I'd understand it, but I hadn't at all. And, uh, and he just walked off. And at five o'clock in the morning, I wasn't going to bother going after him, if that's what he wants to feel. So I just shut the door. And the rep's brother was saying, do you want me to go and talk to him? Because, you know, I feel bad. And I said, no, you know, he says that he, he's in love with me or whatever. And he can't even trust me, and that's one of the main parts of it. If he can't trust me, then there's no point carrying on. And it's really wound me up. And uh, it's a shame, because I really liked him. I thought we had something special. Michelle and Dan are no longer an item. Soon after, Dan returned to England. Coming up, we find Alan hard at work with the ladies. You want to pull that away before I chew it off. That. <laughs> Things get out of hand at an 1830s pool party. And the Swansea lads are on their last night out. In the beginning, it was just an idea, a mental picture. At Citroen, we had a vision of an incredibly flexible car. One where up to seven individual seats could be transformed to suit your every need, yet still being affordable. It all comes together in the multi-award winning Citroen C4 Picasso. Available this month with four years 0% APR typical finance on selected models. Text VISION to 84880. Own the smash hit comedy. I'm running. What? That really goes the distance. Your legs might be a little rubbery. I'm fine. <laughs> it's bursting with extra features, including a hilarious gag reel. Huh? Why? Simon Pegg. You can see my point, can't you? Yes, I can. Run, Fat Boy Run, on DVD now. Feel fresh every day with Vagisil Feminine Wash. Soap-free, it cleanses and freshens. Confidence when you need it most. Vagisil Wash. To <laughs> Follow me. It's a Swansea lads last night and they pulled their last few pesetas to make it one to remember. There's just enough for one more round of drinks. But that's one too many for Russell. Tom's also suffering, but Steve spurs him on. It was a bad idea. The lads have to help him outside. He's about to see the last round again. Jenny's collecting is not going well. The girls will have to think of a new tactic. It seems the lads want more for their money, and Jenny spies her chance for more cash. The money's in the tin. It's all down to Jenny. The 
Arena Bar. The night's picked up for the Swansea lads. They found more money. They make up for lost drinking time. And Russell's back on form. Wednesday night, Thursday morning, not getting back tomorrow night. It's a killer night. Flushed with her recent success, Jenny tries to rope Kim into trying out her new tactics. If I get you 10 mil, Kim, you promise, put it there. That's it. 10 mil for Kim's tits. Right, here we go. Jen, I'm fucking out for the line. Kim honours the deal. And Jenny throws in a freebie for the crowd. They head for Princess Dies, where Jenny has even more outrageous tactics in mind. Can you put money in your box? Don't talk to him. Jenny enlists the help of Les the Compare. And he doesn't seem to mind. Dancing. This is for charity. Woo! Help! You're the one thing I can't get enough of. So I tell you something. This must be love. The dirty dancing seems to have gone down well. I think we've done very well. I've shown my boobs, which is something I've never ever done in, in my entire months, life. months, it's taken me to get her boobs out. And I must admit, they're a lot bigger than mine, Kim. Well done, eh? I get them from my dad's side of the family. <laughs> As Jenny and the girls call it a night, the Swansea lads have just got their second wind. I'm gonna fall over. I'm fucking asshole. I'm fucking wanted. They're off to tramps, but Russell has a bit of trouble staying upright. He just manages to get past security. And the average, the average drinking tonight would be between 8 and 14 pints, depending on what we're drinking. And myself and a couple of other lads, we, we stick to lagers. But uh, Ricky, Di, Russell, they're vodka boys. I am fucking asshole. <laughs> I am fucking asshole. It's usually up to us mm. to, uh, to just keep an eye on them, make sure they don't piss people off enough for them to start hitting them and things like that. Um, take them out of clubs to be sick and things yeah. like that so they don't get chucked out. Um, carry them home to bed usually because they can't really walk on, them on their own. I'm absolutely fucked. Only 200 miles off the coast of Africa, the island is bathed in year-round sunshine. But not today. It's cloudy and cold. Hello. You all right? Are you leaving the pool party already? Michelle's had a bad week at work, and she's broken up with her boyfriend, Dan. On top of that, her A-level results are due later today. It's been quite a hard week this week. I was quite down at the beginning. Um, having to sell the big reunions and I haven't met my targets. And then on top of that, I've 
I'm, 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 I admit it, I'm, I'm worried about my A-level results. I know I can't change them by worrying, but I do worry. And so I've had that on my mind as well. And it just all seems a bit too much this week. But Michelle has no time for worrying as there's a pool party to organise. Because of the weather, it's going to be quite hard to motivate people. But as reps, that's our job to get them up. So we're going to do our best. And, uh, it's not a bad turnout today, considering it's cloudy. <laughs> Michelle does her best to rally the troops. When you get girls, when you still get some tan in there. She finally gets a game of volleyball going. Michelle's managed to liven up the afternoon. That was quite good considering the weather. It's absolutely freezing in it for some reason. Um, not very many people from the castle there, so it's a bit outnumbered. Some of the lads devise their own game with a little bit of mustard and ketchup. <laughs> oh, no, no, hysteria! Give us up! I'm gonna kill you! No one volunteers to clear up, so it's left to Michelle. I thought the must have. Um, I'm standing in there. <laughs> and I've had to pick all this out of the pool. Shoot, guys. Shoot, guys. Shoot, guys. Alan Dixon moved to Tenerife from Burnley almost seven years ago. Along with his mate Manny, he promotes parties and excursions for the young, free and single. You know what we're doing, girls, is going around promoting this party. It's a party that takes part every fortnight. It's a full inclusive night out. It's just one mad night up amongst about 300 people having a good laugh, entertainment, free bar for five hours, you get a meal included. And loads of sexually orientated party games if you want to take part in them. If you're good at faking orgasms, get on the open banana and see what you can do. <laughs> Alan's job allows him to suss out the talent in Tenerife, which has given him something of a reputation. At only 25, he claims to have a track record that Don Juan would die for. I'm, very, very, I'm a tip man. I love breasts. And when I say looking at breasts, we're talking about two goddamn footballs here. He's an animal. He'll go down there and he'll pull them and basically he'll ask them within 10 minutes if they're going to go back to the apartment and make mad passionate love to him. If they say no, he'll leave them and move on. If they say yes, he'll do the deed. The thing is, he's got the gift of the gab and especially his job that he does in the day, he's got to be able to like, approach people, so people, girls just fall for him anyway. Oh, the glory. Stick down there. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah for lads, basically. You want to say hello to your man, go so. Now you've turned me on a little bit. <laughs> he holds the record for uh, shagging, for shagging um, as many women while working. I think it was six women in five hours. Fallon did do that. Superman's got nothing on him. The life in Tenerife for a young single man is superb. You've got everything you could possibly want. It's like living like a millionaire without any money. You've got your pool, you've got, I've got a jacuzzi, I've got a round bath, I've got everything I could possibly want. TV, video, hi-fi, and loads of women. It's a tough look. <laughs> <laughs> That's far too big. <laughs> there's a lot of people who wouldn't believe it, and then a lot of people I'm not really interested if they believe it or not. But there's uh, there's like a rumor down Veronica's that I slept with over a thousand girls. But it's not the fact I'm going around Boston about that because I'm not. But it's the truth. Hello. Hi, hello there. How are you? Are you all right? Good. Have you had a good one? No. No. I sleep with so many girls. Well. Uh, if I was sleeping with so many guys, I'd be worried about it. So obviously, sleeping with that many girls is quite exciting. Alan has even developed a theory on women from all over the world. The Swedish girls and obviously the other foreign girls are very laid back and very preserved sort of thing. And you actually have to make a move on them. But you've got the Scottish ones who are well open, like a good piss up, like a good snug in the bar and things like that. That's what they're like. Now the English girls, I think, they just, I think the, the English girls, especially the Londoners and the girls from Burnley, have got a bit more class about them. And uh, they don't go around opening their legs for any old geezer coming along. Are you, you here like to party? Be... Because I don't want to speak to you if you're not. Yeah. I'm just dedicated to uh, liking women. <laughs> That's me, I think. Be scared. And you want to put that away before I chew it off? That. 
<laughs> right then, all we're doing, girls, is just, he's popping out again. I can't put it back in, will ya? So, I don't know, today I'm going to be walking around like that in a minute. If you don't enjoy the company of a lady and then, uh, I don't know, it's uh, not worth being in Tenerife, really. <laughs> Down at Oasis Radio, Lamal's here to promote 80s Night. DJs Nathan and Paul are hosting the show. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. How are you? Hi. Craig and American Woman. Now, we've been joined. We've been joined. We're honored. not worthy. On your knees. We're not worthy. On your knees. <laughs> Oh, stop it. I won't be able to get my head out the door. We've been joined in the studio by 80s legend, 80s idol, icon, and any other word beginning with I and with an O in it that we, we can think of. Igloo. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the former lead singer of Kajigugu and a man with a, with a solo career all of his own and probably some of the world's most fantastic haircuts in hip hop history, Lamal. Welcome to Oasis. Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Woo hoo! Lamal's <laughs> in the house. Woo, 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 woo. Go on, gonna, man. It's not going to play at all. Go on, play. Okay. It there's a technical hitch, but Lamal comes to the rescue. <laughs> this has happened live before. <laughs> yeah, right. Turn around. Hey! Look at what you see. <laughs> now, now let's have it in the pre recorded, not quite as exciting state. Let's have the right songs that have got some stuff in the did that one. Oh, oh my god. You got worried then because you, you know didn't even know your own song. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to well, use it. I suddenly turned it to Dion Warwick. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what can people expect from you tomorrow? What, what are we looking forward to? Well, the great thing about a live performance is it's a one off. Yeah. You know, no live performance is the same. So that's the first thing. Um, unlike Millie Vanilli, of course, I can prove that I did sing on my records. Oh, oh. <laughs> I've really rediscovered myself. I've got all this fab enthusiasm. I've been out shopping and I've got a fab new outfit that I'm wearing tomorrow night. Cheers, hey guys, thank much you much very much. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We needed two hours, really. Whoa. The sun's come out, just in time for Michelle to ring home for her A-level results. Telephone. Telephone. Right, Anna, I'm going to make you do it. No, no, you do it. I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell me either. Right. Back in England, Michelle's friend Adele is gearing up to tell her how she's done. I imagine that Michelle's can't wait to finish work and that she wants to get to the phone because she's had to wait all day for this. So hopefully, you know, that we won't have to wait too much longer. Hello? Hello, it's Michelle. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm all right. Right, are you ready? No, I'm not. What do you need? Being two C's. <gasps> <Yeah. laughs> Sorry, <sorry>. No. <laughs> Right, are you ready? No, I'm not. Right, are you sitting down? No. Oh. Do right, I need psychology? to? Psychology. Psychology? Yeah. Yeah. You've got a B. <gasps> B? Yeah. God. Performing art? Yeah. You've got a C. Oh, God, I don't need a C for that. Sorry? I need a B. I want a B for that. Oh. Right, go on. What do I get for biology? Human biology. You've got a C. Yeah. Right, and your general studies, you've got a D. <laughs> I don't want to fail that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, a B. It gives you 24 points altogether. 24? Yeah. Well, that's, that's enough. enough. Is it? Yeah. That's... Oh, brilliant. Well done. Mm. Are you pleased? Yeah. Oh, I am. Oh, yeah. I am. <laughs> you're proud of me. You've done so well. I'll see you when you come home. Bye. Bye. Well, at least the past anyone is. Are you in the bathroom? Yeah, I've got enough. Really pleased for her. Really, really pleased. Yeah! That means it's going to come home. Well, we've got a home. We've sat down three weeks. You missed me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you you had nothing to worry about. <laughs> At last, there's some good news for Michelle. You're going to me. <laughs> it's you, did not it? <laughs> no. 
it's Monday morning and Jenny and Dee are on their way to Mount Tady for the oh, climb. Yes. Is that it? You thought I was mad when I said I was going to do it. Now what do you yeah, think? Yeah, looking at it, I think you're absolutely crazy, but go for it, girl. Go. 9.30am and Jenny's mountain guide has arrived. Oh, he's young, isn't he? You're going to climb a mountain, nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be different, wouldn't it? <laughs> Join the <laughs> Mile High Club. <laughs> Actually, no, I'd have to teach him, wouldn't I? He's a bit young. <laughs> Jenny, what's your name? My name is Hi. Jose Ramon. Say that nice again. Meet you. Jose Ramon. Jose Ramon. What can we call you for short? Uh huh. Ramon. Ramon. Yeah. Ramon. Ramon. Huh? You just doing the first. But bit? Jenny's in for a shock. The guide won't be going all the way. Are you not going all the way? Uh, no, say me that the, the one part, for example, Axel Montaña Blanca. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you follow the, the path route to the peak. Uh -huh. See. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. 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 I'm going. Good luck, girl. Good luck. <laughs> With my t shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'll meet you down the bottom with your t shirt. Right. See ya. Bye. Bye. Here we go. You misses himself. And misses what? Uh, no. No, I'm Jenny. Uh -huh. Jenny. 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 So you're not married? Not married? No, by the moment, no. <laughs> Girlfriend? By the moment, in this moment, no. No, no two. Uh, me? Divorced, four years. Yes. Five babinos. Oh, but in consequence? Uh, you are, you are Mary, very young. Yes, see. Oh. <laughs> uh, I was 18. Because uh, uh, Miss, Mrs. Tenny. Mrs. Is, Jenny. Is young, or look like young. You I look young. Oh, <laughs> you darling. <laughs> Take him home with me. <laughs> I leave. Jenny's been walking for three hours, and she's just about to lose her guide, Jose Ramon. You are welcome, Jenny, and see you later. And I hope that you enjoy the, the That's food part. Yes, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye bye. bye bye. Jenny has still got another three kilometers to climb. Coming up, Alan's on the prowl. Oh, at the end of the night, there's a little bottom like that. Jenny's trek gets tougher. I'm absolutely knackered. We're only halfway. I can't be brief. And Lamal gears up for his performance. Woo! Coming up, coming up. It's like a drug, actually. It's like a drug. It's fabulous. Yeah, very interesting. I've been into computers since I was a lad. I suppose I could have ended up doing an IT job in an office. Smoky lad. Keeping busy, Ginge. Oh, yeah. Well, being an engineering technician in the Royal Navy, I've got to be a bit more creative. If the server goes down, I can't just call in some bloke to come in and fix it. But to be honest, sometimes I just switch it off and on again. <laughs> Live a life without limits. Join the Royal Navy. Visit Royal Navy online. What would I like to see? I'd like to see an optician who has helped over 20 million eyes to see clearly. I'd like to see an optician who takes the time to explain my eye exam. I'd like to see an eye exam that can test my eyes a hundred different ways. Vision Express. Celebrating 20 years of caring for the nation's eyes. Book your eye exam today at visionexpress.com. Vision Express. What would you like to see? Although Jenny doesn't know it, there's a four-hour vertical climb still to go up Mount Tady. I want to fit so much into my life now. I don't want to die and say, if only I'd done that. I'm absolutely knackered. We're only halfway and I can hardly breathe. When I get to the top, I'll be absolutely knackered, but I think I'll be so elated, and I think it's just going to be one of the really biggest highlights of my life. I can't do this no more. <laughs>
the next time I'm taking the bloody lift. <laughs> we need it now. It's taken seven hours and temperatures well over 30 degrees, but Jenny has finally Please reached the top. the top. Please tell me this is the top. Oh, done, I can't even walk there. Please tell me it's the top. Does that mean I can sit down? Oh, uh, definitely come up in a cable car next time. I can't believe I've done that. Oh, God. Oh, it stinks. <coughs> a year ago, she was confined to a hospital bed. It's been an amazing achievement. People that were really close to me knew what I was like before I was ill, and they sort of spurred me on. I couldn't have done it if it weren't for their support. They made me believe I could do it, but I really didn't believe I could do it. Not without using the cable car. I thought I'd have to use the cable car. And uh, I just feel... I feel stupid now, but I feel great. I just, I can't talk. Jenny returned to the bottom by cable car. She raised a total of 400 pounds for the Parachute Regiment's Pegasus Fund. T-shirt. Great, we deserve so much here. Well done, girl. Good job. Oh, you're right, that way. You did it, did you? Did it? Oh, no. Here you go. One T-shirt. <laughs> As the sun sets over Tenerife, things are just starting to heat up in Veronica's. Alan and his mate Tomo are at home preparing for the night ahead. I was a stripper for two years. Why was a stripper? Because I had a cock like that. Exactly. But listen, I'm the kind of person who might, might have one, might have a big one. Uh, but I know for a fact, it's a small one, it's a bonny one, and I've got a very fast arse. <laughs> I don't know, I love her. All right. Yeah. Do you want my... Um... I should be a bloody hairdresser, I should. Ching, ching. Salute. Night. Hello. Good hunting. Good hunting, eh? OK, that's the way you put it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Tell my love, please. All it takes is a couple of vodka Red Bulls and they're ready to go. The Marl's warming up. I have to sing very gently before a show to warm up. It's basically the voice is like a muscle. So before a show it has to be, it has to, because you know, the performance is where you really give it full on and the, and the, um, the warm up has to be of a certain, you know, a certain level of intensity. My girls. Darling. Darling. Mwah. 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 Migs is Lamar's backing singer, and Sue is a friend along for the ride. Both girls are recruited to help him get dressed and made up for the show. The famous Lamar wig that I will pop on at some point. That's the old, that's the old star. Tragic. I need some boots like yours, Migs, I think. Definitely. Ooh. Girls. Yeah. What do we think? He looks totally crazy. It's great. <laughs> Is this a laugh of approval or a laugh of, oh my oh, God? Ready yeah, we're ready now. You're ready now. You're ready now. Showtime. Do re mi fa so la oh. <laughs> That's the note I was looking for. Down at Las Americas, Alan's made it to Veronica's, and he's hot to trot tonight. I reckon about 75% of the people in Tenerife are looking for sex. They're here for one reason. It's the only place to be if love or lust is on your mind. With that in mind, Alan gets stuck in, and language is never a barrier. The word I say to Italian girls is, uh, really? yeah. I start off by saying, Do really? Really? That means really? I want you. Is that right? No, I'm Italian. Right then. <laughs> bellissimo. Bellissimo. Ciao, bella, bellissimo. Have you got a license for your boobs? 
Yeah. But it is the best uh, thing about this girl. No, so nice, no, nice. The best yeah. thing about no, this girl is... because no, but because I understand every word she means, so and she doesn't understand every word I mean. Yeah. She's a very She's nice blonde. girl. No, no, don't. I understand. She's a very nice girl, but she likes yeah, it dripping off nice her nose. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's the way it goes in Italy. She likes it dripping off her nose. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Why not? No. 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 Right, right, right. I'm sorry. I tried, but I failed. <laughs> But Alan's not one to give up easily, so he tries his luck in Leonardo's. It's not my fault. Another knockback. I never push on girls. If they don't want to dance, they don't want to dance. So Alan hits the champagne for a bit of Dutch courage. The professional way is without a pop. But I can't get the fucker off. Start the evening with two bottles of champagne, and then you know the least you can pull at the end of the night is a little bottom like that. Where have you just been? This time, Alan changes his technique and tries to use his uncanny knack with accents to pull. Without even knowing. Go on, see you again. Say hello. My name is so and so. I I I live in a nice nice town. Go on. Well, I do actually. Hello, my name is Becky, and I live in Alkington. Well, Yorkshire. No, it's not Yorkshire. It's far too nice for Yorkshire. Obviously, if it's Yorkshire, you know them. But I'm going to say this girl lives in somewhere around about, obviously, below the Kent region, more, more or less Midlands, but a bit further up. Sorry, you A bit further down. Where, 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 where is it? Where, where is it? I'm from Manchester. Ah! I'm doing it. That'll do. Manchester will do absolutely fine because I look at her. She's a far good example for a northern girl because she's beautiful. Manchester. She wears a lovely dress. Alcrington. Oldham. No, I am not. Is it near Altrincham? No, it's not. Is it not? I used to work in Altrincham. Anyway, you have a really nice night. I will do. I hope you get a piss out your head and have a really good one. See you later, China woman. At the medieval castle on the outskirts of town, Le Mal's gearing up for his performance. Five minutes. Oh my god. Should be okay. This is the time, this is the time to show when my adrenaline really starts to woo, coming up, coming up. It's like a drug actually. It's like a drug, it's fabulous. Yeah! Always! It's showtime. Oh my god, here we go. Showtime, baby. Let's go back in time. Mad holiday crowd, they're really up for it. They're here to escape you know, from the trials and tribulations of life. You know, so I mean from a performance point of view, you can't you can't really lose unless you're really shit. Two hours later, and Lamal joins the fans to party on.
Tomo hit bonkers and they know just the spot to find the girls outside the ladies' lose. Give us a big kiss. Give us a big kiss. Bring your right arm down to your left hand. Down, Alan's on a roll. Down, up, down, and he gets straight down to business. But not for long, as he leaves her to get down to something completely different. He's just a 70 snowback. I just want to say I'm representing everybody. It's time for the ultimate test of machismo. Oh, let's do a split decision. How many of you are supporting Alan? Give me a cheer now. How many of you are supporting me? Give me a cheer now. So I'm going to do, I'm going to say it in Russian. Skrais, Vins, Oms. Down in 3.5 seconds. It wasn't actually a bang on draw, Alan beat me. No, Alan, you won. Alan wins, but on the ladies' front, he's only had two snogs all night. At the end of the night, you haven't pulled them, then it's not down to yourself or whatever. It's just basically down to purely you've drunk too much and you've had a brilliant night with mates. The next day, he's philosophical. My goal is obviously to get my own little cottage in the countryside, coal fire, three or four children and a lovely wife. But I can always look back and tell my children or tell my sons. I spent six or seven years in Tenerife and had a brilliant time. It was the wildest time I ever had. Next time on Tenerife Uncovered, DJ Scott's latest PR stunt doesn't impress his boss. Not fucking happy without that number one on it. A night on the town with the Spice Girls, Tenerife style. And we meet the couple whose sex life depends on the football season. We can start bonking again now, the season started. Yes! It's the old style. Tragic. Come on, come on. Come on.